Good morning, everyone. It is 11.56 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Sunday, December 18th, 2022. I want to thank everybody who wished me birthday wishes yesterday on the 17th as I turned 39 years old. I really appreciate it. But I'm excited to do this Sheena and You update because we've had a little bit of a pump here after a nice little consolidatory dump. And we managed to hold, remember a long time ago when we broke this, I said we're going to come back down and we're going to have to try to hold this downtrending support line, which was this breakout of the ascending triangle. We consolidated all the way down and now we bounced off of the five level. Uh, closer, it's about, about the midway point of the fives. We bounced up and we've managed to pump up about 15%. I drew this yellow line here to show if we dropped, if we managed to break back above, that could be our pump spot here. And look, we consolidated beautifully and hit this. Now, we're on a future shortened weekend right now. So the crypto markets are not in full swing right now. So this was a good time for this to consolidate with the rest of the market as it did on my birthday. Came down from this 14, 15, 16th, made a double bottom on the 17th and now pushed up on the 18th. Held the support here at this yellow line. That's the pivot point. And now it's pushing up. Our major key level right now is the sixth level. We're going to want to break this area right here. And then ultimately to continue down because this is a, the problem is right now is this is a little bearish thesis right here now. So now we're going to have to break this broader feeling. And that happens sometimes on consolidatory dumps, but in order for this to prove that it's not a very bearish pattern, it's going to have to bounce back above here in the immediate short term and try to show some support. Right now, we've actually pushed above it, and we could say we're in this channel, and we need to break back to the top side and ultimately push out of here. So right now, I'd be watching this right up here. That's what I'd be watching beautifully for this um, pattern. And then underneath, if this were to break, this five level... It's set up perfectly. I would, you should take a screenshot of this if you want to see exactly what's going on here because once this breaks out, we need to get above here now and get back pushing. Um, otherwise, if we fall back down into here, that's where you could just continue playing the ascending triangle. This would be a fake out. And then if you do that, then you've got you know a potential of dropping you know some 50, 55% within the ascending triangle pattern. That is why it's very important to maintain this push that we have right now. Um, I know this is going to be a short and sweet update, but I wanted everybody to see the potential this morning and to put it on your chart because there are actually two levels on this resistance side because you could even do this and be like, oh, well, if it breaks out, we could do this as well. So they're basically going to end up in the same spot. Um, the only way that you can really change this outlook is if you came up to the wicks, but that's going to throw it so out of whack. Because we don't have any proof that that's what's happening. Like, what could be happening is we could be starting to put in a topping part of this pattern, and this could just be a downtrending resistance line that is starting to finally form. But there's no way to tell if that's the case or not, unless that actually held right there and then it pulled further. So, those are the scenarios this morning. Very dedicated community, very loyal community, and I'm trying to keep you on top of the charts. Make sure to hit that like button.